Hey everybody, it's Nate here real quick. I want to talk about cooking on the road, over the road. I'm somewhere in Louisiana. I just stopped for my 30 minute break. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. And what I've done is I pulled out my Instant Pot and I took a pot roast out of my fridge. I had some carrots and I just cut up an onion. I'm going to put some of that. The one I really like is the Campbell's Tavern style and I haven't been able to find it yet, but when I get to a grocery store that has it, I'm gonna stock up. So I'm using McCormick. It's not nearly as good. Campbell's Tavern style is way better. I'm gonna throw the, both of those in there just cause I'm hoping this has some better flavor because I tried that one the other day. And then I got some uh, pepper, salt, throw in a little garlic powder. And I like to spice it up, so I'm going to put some of this hot chili oil in there. I'll turn it on, and, um, you know, I'm going to run 500 miles today, so i got about six hours to go. By the time I shut down, it'll be almost done, and I'll have supper ready. That's it. Just a quick, uh, quick little video of cooking on the road. You don't have to go eat at these truck stops. I've found the food is terrible. Uh, at most of them and I think the reason is there's no competition you got one restaurant inside a truck stop and there's no one there to compete with them to force them to put in put out better quality food so I like to do my own cooking as much as I can so there you have it cooking on the road take it easy everybody all right just shut down for the night it hasn't really been that long well, it's been like seven hours, I guess. But it's ready. And I have myself a meal. Easy. When I'm finished, I'll take and uh, cut that up. I'll have probably three meals out of it, three or four. Put it away in the fridge, and then tomorrow, I can just heat it up in the microwave. So it's really that simple. Alright, that's it. Once again, thanks for watching.